Sup guys and welcome to the unofficial patch notes for War Thunder update 1.69.2.58 Gresh is provided by Mike10D over on the War Thunder reddit So today there was a silent update for War Thunder which means they had an update and didn't tell anyone it was happening It's usually a tiny one like less than 10 megabytes So I'm just going to list the small changes that were found in this mini update Firstly there's been a change to the Italian tech tree um, Non beta testers for the Italian tree now have access to the final three Spavaros SM79s, the AS versions to be honest with you, these are pretty bad aircraft. I believe the SM-79 AS is the best Spavaro. I think it goes the fastest, but it uh, pays for it by having, I believe, a little less armor. The SM-79 BIS slash TM, which is basically an up-armored Spavaro, it should have a 20mm defensive cannon, but it doesn't. And then there's the SM-79 B, which is the Romanian and, I believe it was Iranian, uh, Spavario export version, which doesn't have a forward gun and is, in my opinion, the worst of the lot. So if you um, are playing the Italian tree and you're not a closed beta tester like myself, um, you have the option to get these and finally be able to push into the actual decent uh, fighters, which is good for you. Um, in honesty, the Italian tree, I don't even think you need to talisman or anything, just going to pan into that. I've unlocked nearly every plane in there just by playing with a premium account in the last, like, what, two, two-ish weeks. So if you're going to do it, just grind and ace the vehicles as you unlock them and you just grind the tree out. I only have like the G90s left to get and that's it. Secondly, we have a minor change to sound. He's unsure if this has been implemented yet, but the files for it have been added. Uh, firstly, there is a new splash effect for water, for I'm assuming shells and stuff going in. And a new sound for commanders saying to load smoke. So these are just changes for the audio so when they implement more boats and things... Um, there's more sort of things your guy yells in a foreign language, which I have no idea what it means. Next, they've added mass to more ATGMs. In the last unofficial patch note, you were aware that I said there was a mass added to the 125mm ATGM. Well, now they've added mass to the Shalele uh, rockets. So, all rockets now have a mass for some reason, and... I don't yet know what it's for. Mike doesn't seem to know either. Maybe it's going to affect your acceleration characteristics ever so slightly in things like the uh, the Sheridan. But right now, it doesn't seem to have an effect. Finally, we have the event Flag Razor, which all that's been added is the coming soon and the fact that we have the in-game description. The in-game description is as follows. Each team has a task to capture a neutral banner in the center of the map and bring it to a special designated point in enemy territory where you should carry a captured banner behind the enemy lines. So it appears to be sort of like a capture the flag assault mode where you grab the flag and cap it in your opponent's zone so you have to, I'm assuming, zip through enemy lines. All I know is it's going to be for light tanks because uh, I don't want to be doing that in like a mouse. Just trundling along at fucking, like, what, like, 10 miles an hour. So that's that. Just a small mini silent update today. Uh, main thing is the Spavaros are unlocked for everyone. If you like what you see here, keep on gaming and have a good one.